Have you ever realized or thought that, hey, I caused my own chaos? All those drunken nights or bad decisions or bad text messages, but then you try to blame it on the alcohol <laughs> or somebody else. Yeah, me too. It's hard because we always want something to blame. We always want to blame our past, blame something that we're going through in life, blame, you know, everything but ourselves. We create our own chaos. How many times have you woke up in the morning after drinking and been like, oh my gosh, I feel like crap. I shouldn't have done that. Or I shouldn't have said that. Like all these thoughts that run through your brain. And then when you quit drinking, you realize that, oh, I have created my own chaos for the last several decades. I was the only one to blame and the only one that can change it. You can sit in your own chaos and be miserable for as long as you want. You're the only one that can actually come and help yourself and live a different life. You can live a chaotic free life. Nobody said that it's going to be easy quitting drinking. There's going to be chaos that comes with it and you have to confront those head on when, when it does happen. Chaos is a part of life. When you're changing like your life, say you drank for 10, 20, 30, 40 plus years, so you have no other way of knowing like how to deal with life besides just turning to the bottle because life is too chaotic in the moment and you think that the alcohol is going to stop your chaos, but it's created your chaos this whole entire time. And so when you let go of it, you start realizing all these things and then you change as a human. Your personality kind of changes for a little bit in a way. And then you become a different person. I mean, I'm pretty much the same person I was. I just don't have all the extra chaos in my life. And I choose not to have the chaos in my life. I'm done creating my own chaos. I have like, Last month there was chaos with my sobriety. I've dealt with the emotions. I've dealt with the chaos of how I felt about it and the way I reacted to some things. Like that was my own chaos. Imagine what the chaos would have been if I was drinking. It would have been a nuclear bomb. Have you ever thought like <laughs> you have an issue going on in your life and then you're like, I'm just gonna like take a swig of this and make it go away but then really you're just torching the nuclear bomb and it's gonna explode and nothing else is gonna save you <laughs> besides yourself. Like that's the problem with alcohol. We drink it and we create our own chaos. Let go of the bottle, figure it out. Deal with your chaos in your head, in your life, whatever you have to do, but just realize that you can't always blame your past. You can't always blame your family. You can't blame your friends when you're the only one that has created your own freaking chaos in your own life. We are adults. We get to choose how we live our life, whether that be a sober life or a drunk life. But when you get mad at somebody for not drinking, you see that their life is getting better, but yet you still choose to look down at them. I mean, take a look in the mirror at your own self and realize what's actually happening. Alcohol has caused nothing but chaos in my life. From my childhood, to my teenage years, to my adulthood, to parenthood, just everything in life in general. And do I wanna keep blaming it on everything but myself? Yeah, of course, it's easier to blame everything but yourself, but you have to accept the fact, accept the fact that your life 
is completely different without a bottle in your hand, turning to it for every little like bump in the road. Did you have a bad day at work? Okay, well, who caused it? Was it actually your boss or the incident that happened or was it your reaction to it? Was your friend mad at you or were you mad at your friend for being mad at you? And did you, did you like react a way that made them mad? Chaos comes in all forms. And to better ourselves, we have to let go of what was and focus on what is and let life happen and just breathe through it instead of drinking through it. <laughs> Funny concept, huh? I mean, all my life I have chosen to turn to the bottle and it never has solved any of my problems. It has created more problems than necessary, and I'm still dealing with some of the problems that I've that I've created when I was drinking. Um, no, I didn't get in trouble with the law. No, I didn't get in trouble with like like things. I don't know certain things, but like I'm still dealing with like. Things that I've said when I was drunk, things that I did when I was drunk that like I have to like live with for the rest of my life. Yes, these are all mistakes that we have have to live with and learn from, but if we didn't make mistakes, we'd have nothing to learn from. If we're perfect and walk the line the whole time, I wouldn't be here sharing my story, inspiring all of you to let go of the bottle also. I have created my own chaos from the moment I took those shots of tequila and vodka when I was 15 years old. I went down a path that, like, I'm gonna say like, I can say that maybe I regret part of it, but at the same time, like, there's parts of it that I am thankful that I had to learn from. There was a lot of things that I caused on my own. And should I have been in certain situations? No. Am I thankful that certain situations didn't get worse? <laughs> yeah. But like, can you imagine if you are in high school and you do something terrible and it changes your whole entire life and it was all because of alcohol? The road that we choose for ourselves is a road that we have to work on. Like roads need maintenance, right? The road's not going to be perfect forever. So just because you were one way at a certain age for a certain length of time, alcohol does not have to define you. It doesn't have to be who you are. You don't have to like drink just because everybody else is drinking. You don't have to drink your sorrows away. You don't have to drink your life away. Like you're wasting your damn life, not enjoying life. We enjoy life and life goes fast but we get to remember the moments. We get to like enjoy the moments, live in the moments, like have good memories instead of like, oh, why did I act like a jerk? Why did I act this way? Why did I say that? Why like just all the things. I've created so much in my life. And now that it's a lot smoother without the alcohol, life is so much more enjoyable. It's so enjoyable. It's getting together with friends, remembering the nights instead of like creating chaos and waking up in the morning and being like, oh shoot, what did I say? What did I do? What did I post? We've all been there, we've all done that. Or then we wake up and be like, well, this person shouldn't have done that. Well, you shouldn't have said this to me. No, 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 no. First of all, you should have controlled your actions I mean, I'm talking about myself here. <laughs> Should have controlled my actions in many of these situations and they wouldn't have gone crazy. I didn't have to drink as much as I did. I didn't have to turn to alcohol at every given moment, like happy, sad, mad, glad, whatever you call it. For the last, what, 20 plus years of my life, I let alcohol create the chaos by me choosing the chaos of drinking. So to live a less chaotic life, you gotta put down the bottle. 
you have to realize what you're doing to yourself. You're creating chaos not only for you, but you're creating it for your family, for your friends. Like, it's sad seeing people drink their life away and not want to do better for themselves. You have to do it on your own, 100%. There's nothing, like, we all know this. We all know that it has to be our decision, but we can help inspire, help motivate, share our stories, do what we can to help those realize that they don't need to keep living in chaos with alcohol, that they can do this and let it go and live a less dramatic, less chaotic life. If you only, like, if you're older, like, why not live the rest, the, the last half of your life, like, happy and not letting a depressed substance depress you when we already live in a depressing world as it is for the most part. Some of us may, I don't know, whatever. Feeding alcohol to you, to people, shoving it in people's faces, letting it control your life is just a form of chaos. Let go of the past, hold on to the future, and remember that there is definitely life after alcohol, whether it be hard, to let go just remember that the hardness the hard part of the hard part gets easier would you rather live a chaotic hard life or would you rather live an easier smoother hard life it's your choice and you get to choose your chaos in your life so for one you just got to breathe through it you have to lean in to community. You have to lean into friends. You have to lean into family. You have to do whatever it can, whatever you can, to help your life be less chaotic. Nobody else is going to do it for you. I mean, as easy as it might be for somebody to fix your life for you, to just accept you for who you are, we all want that. But when alcohol is involved, it's a really, really hard it's really hard, especially when you know how easy, how good it feels to be sober and go out and not create your own chaos anymore. So, living a chaos-free life, one step, one day at a time. I'm here for all of you, and I want to walk and help you guys through the chaos in your life so it doesn't get worse. Like and subscribe so we can keep doing this together.